Hey you guys, it's the Gaming Mermaid and welcome to my channel. So today I am going to do a tutorial on how to recolor alpha hairs. I do apologize in my last video of my hair recolor tutorial, I only did a non-alpha hair from the base game and it wasn't my intention to be misleading at all. So today I'm going to go more in depth with more complicated hairs. So this is one of the newest hairs on The Sims Resource, this is by Alesso and as you you can see the sims resource makes it really easy because it tells you if recoloring is allowed or not so for this case alesso does allow recoloring on this hair so we're going to recolor this one as well as this one here by nightcrawler as you can see here nightcrawler does allow recoloring as well so if you're not familiar with what you will need i explained all of that in my first video on how to make custom content so please refer to that video i went into detail of all of the basic in that video so please refer to that one if you haven't already so what you will need is the sims 4 studio and you will also need to add the mods that you want to recolor as long as they allow recoloring you will need to add them into the sims 4 studio folder so to find that you open up your window go to my libraries uh, my documents sims 4 studio and mods and here you're going to want to put your mods that you want to recolor so again to find your mod you will need to go to libraries my documents electronic arts the sims 4 and mods now we're going to do hair for this example so we're going to go to hair and i'm going to look for alesso hide hair so here it is alesso hide i'm going to copy that and paste that here and then we're also going to want Nightcrawler Poison. So I'm going to look for that one. All right, here it is. So I'm going to copy and paste that one as well. So now what you will need is to open up the Sims 4 Studio. We're going to create a Sim, create a Sim standalone. And once you're here, you're going to use this search bar over here to search for what you want to recolor. So when you're searching, you're going to want to search for the exact name. So in this case, we're going to search up Alesso. So you can just hover your mouse over to see what the title is. This is basically all the same because I only have one Alesso hair. So I'm just going to click a random one here and we're going to click next. Now this is what you're going to want the file name to be in case you want to upload it somewhere um, as long as the creator allows you to. You're going to want to name this whatever you want the final name to be. So I'm just going to save it like that and now you can see it in The Sims 4 Studio. It does have some strange looking orange parts at the edges here and that's because it's an alpha hair. I'm not really familiar with the specifics but basically it just means that it's more complicated in the way that it is made uh, it won't show up with that weird orange edge in game that's just what it looks like on here so keep that in mind when you're recoloring that will not show up in game so now what you're gonna want to do is export this texture so we're going to export that and then you're gonna want to search that up it should show up on your desktop and I'm going to open that up in Photoshop I'm gonna click OK and this is what we are working with here. So here's the hair and here is the scalp area. So there's multiple ways you can recolor this. You can recolor it just by using adjustments and just doing a different hue and playing around with the hue and saturation. You can do that however you you would like. Um, so you can make like a pastel pink right there. So you can make multiple hair colors just using that method or you can make your own texture and again I explained how to create your own hair texture in my previous video on how to make hair recolors so please refer to that in case you're not familiar with how to make your own hair so this is one that I created I'm going to open that one up and again like I said you can just change the color as well as the hue and saturation the lightness and just get a color that you prefer so I'm going to make like a bright aqua blue color so I'm just going to copy that and we're gonna go back over here. Now again, there's multiple ways that you can do this. So one way that I know is to use the magic wand over here. And we're going to click on this. So it selects all of the area over here except for the white. So what you can do is zoom in and then you can press shift and then you can click as well. So now pretty much everything has been selected. So I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to just fill this in. It doesn't matter what color. This is just an example. So I'm going to fill that in. And as you can see, I didn't select a couple things here. So you can just fill it in with the brush or I'm just going to 
go back over here with the magic wands and select those as well. So now I'm going to make another layer and then what you're going to want to do is press Control alt g that will make this layer as sort of a layer mask within this layer. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste that in this layer. So now, as you can see, it doesn't go beyond what we have colored in this layer. So if I deselect this, it removes everything. So if I remove this, it only removes the hair texture that we created. So this just makes it a lot easier to work with. Also make sure that you keep note of the direction that the hair is going. Sometimes the hair is going in different directions. So you wanna keep that in mind when you're doing a recolor. So for example, with this one, this one is vertical. So if this, say this, piece of hair was actually horizontal, you will want to make this horizontal for this piece specifically, or else it will look really strange in game. Just keep that in mind. So I'm going to fill this all in with our new hair color, and then I will get back with you guys. All right, so once you're done with that, you're going to want to save this as a DDS file. And we're going to save that. And these are the settings that you will need. So I will leave this up here for a few seconds just so that you can make sure you have the correct settings. And once you have that, you're gonna to wanna to save that. We're gonna go back over here and we're going to import our new texture. So I saved mine as Alesso hair. That is what I'm going to do. So now you can see this is the recolored hair. So as you can see, it does take a little bit more work to do, but it's not as difficult as it seems. Um, and also you can change this thumbnail color to be more like the hair. So for this hair, I have a more aqua color. So I'm going to leave the thumbnail like that. And that is basically it. So you can make your custom thumbnail if you like. So that is the first hair. Now we're going to go on to the second one, which is the nightcrawler one. So I'm going to press cancel and we're going to create, create some standalone and I'm going to search up nightcrawler. So this one looks like the one we want to recolor. So I'm just going to select that one, click next, and I'm going to name this one nightcrawler hair. So this is another alpha hair. So we can go and export this file and I'm going to name it again nightcrawler hair. And I'm going to open that up in Photoshop. So here is the original file and I'm going to use the same method as I did before. So I'm using the magic wand. I'm going to select this. Make sure you're on this layer, by the way. And again, you can hit shift and then you can click and it'll select more, but be careful because sometimes it will select too much. So you can also change the tolerance so it's not as harsh. So I'm just going to play around with the tolerance. It's just a matter of practice and a matter of trial and error. It might seem complicated at first, but it just takes a few times to get used to it and it's not really as bad as it may seem. So that's basically it. So I'm just going to select all of these and I'm sure, you know, there are many other better ways to do this than to be selecting it like this but this is just what I know okay and that should be everything so I'm going to go into this new layer I'm going to fill this in and again it doesn't matter what the color is and you can also go into more detail if you're detail oriented like I am I would prefer to have these all the same color so I'm going to just fill those in so now we can go back to our hair texture or you could make a different one you could also do an ombre so for example if I wanted to do an ombre hair we're gonna name this ombre, and then you're gonna want two colors that you want to have as the ombre. I'm going to go here to the gradient tool, and I'm going to do a gradient. And then I'm going to go to here, filter, noise, add noise, and I'm just gonna leave it like so. Then I'm going to go to filter, brush strokes, sprayed strokes, and we're going to just leave that all the way up. Then filter, blur, motion blur and you can just change this to however you would like. This is kind of what helps give the hair effects. You can go really extreme or you can do a more subtle blur. I think I'm going to go with something like this. So I'm going to click OK and then you can do a new layer. I'll just make that white. I'm going to go to my brush. You're going to want to go to the soft brush and I'm going to fill that in and again fill that in here. The height of these really depends on the hair as you may know to what best suits the hair and I'm going to put this under 
either overlay or soft light. I think I'm going to go with soft light and just decrease the opacity a little bit so it looks a little more natural. And we can also go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm going to do that so it looks a little bit more natural. So like I said, this is all trial and error for me. Hopefully this is helpful for you guys as well. I'm just going to save this on my desktop. So now we can go back over here. I'm going to copy this and we're going to make a new layer. Again, Control Alt G. So once you have this in here, I'm going to put this on the edge and then I'm going to press Control T and I'm just going to stretch this all the way out. Control T and then you can just try to space it out to fit the area. Okay, so I'm going to save this again as a DDS. So we're going to go back over here and I'm going to import my new texture. So it's the Nightcrawler hair, and there is our new ombre hair. And again, you can change the colors, like I said, so you can go to Image Adjustments, Hue Saturation, and you can change the saturation and the lightness and the colors as well. So I'm just going to make a thumbnail color, and I can save that. So now we can check on what these look like in-game. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, here is the Alesso hair. This is the original and I'm going to show you what our recolor looks like. Here it is right here. And this is how it turned out. So let me just show you what this looks like. And um, as you can see, it's a little extreme. So you can always just change it as you see fit for each hair. But I think it turned out pretty well. And let's go on to the next one. So here is the Nightcrawler one. And now we can look at our recolor, which is right over here. And so this is what our ombre recolor looks like. Let me just change this a little bit so we now we can see the hair. So this is how the ombre turned out. Personally, I would like the top to be a little bit darker. So like I said, you can just go back and forth and test out and see what it looks like. But overall, I think it turned out pretty well for an ombre hair. And as another example, this is a hair by Stealthic. And let me just show you an ombre one. So here is an ombre version of it. And what I did for my Draculaura one is I just enhanced the colors, made it a little bit brighter, changed the hue a little bit, and it ended up like so. So this is another thing that you can do as well. If you want to just enhance colors, you can do that and uh, change the look. So anyways, I hope you guys found this helpful for alpha hairs. Again, if you are not familiar with how to make any hair colors at all, please refer to my first video that I made and that will show you everything that you need to know. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.